this in. He just lit. He destroyed me. He just lit on me. What is he doing? Okay, today I'm going to talk about what I think is the strongest playstyle in the entire game. When played correctly, this style really has no counter. There's really nothing the other team can even do. It's really just on you to mess up. And what I'm going to call this playstyle is I'm just going to call it the aggressive sniper or close range sniper. Uh, so I'm not going to be making like a full in-depth guide in this video today as that would be a pretty long video and I'm not really sure if anyone would be interested in that but if this is received well enough I could definitely do that and make an actual in-depth guide and give sort of all the tips I can think of and what I do to play this way because this is mostly the type of play style that I use. So today I'm just going to sort of demonstrate this style with some of the clips I have and sort of show that it's possible to even play this way as a sniper. I know a lot of people don't really think of playing like this or think that it's even really doable because it does take a lot of practice. I'm not going to lie, I think it's very hard to do but once you get it down, like I said, it's unstoppable. I'm also going to give some basic advice on how to start practicing this style of play and sort of give my reasoning for how I approach certain situations when I'm sniping. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to mention real quick is what is called Peeker's Advantage. This is in several games. Most games have Peeker's Advantage. Not all, but many do. Basically what this means is that when you are the one peeking the other player, so when you are coming around a corner and they are already sitting there, you will actually see them on your screen before they see you. So you will have a couple frames or whatever where you see them and they don't see you yet. So you're already at an advantage because you're the one peeking and they're the one just standing there. You will actually see them first. A lot of people don't know that, but I'm sure many of you do. Also, I want to point out that this is a very important when you're peeking on the left side specifically. So when the cover is on your right, you actually get an even better advantage than when you're peeking from the right side. The best way I can explain like why this happens would be if you think about it like in third person shooters, something like Fortnite where one side, like your character holds the gun, like they're right-handed or left-handed or something, the shoulder that they're aiming on, it's a lot easier to peek that way. That's the best reasoning I could give for this. Doesn't really make too much sense in Destiny because it looks like you're right-handed in my opinion, but peeking to the left side is better. So however you want to think of it, just know that peeking to your left is better. So when you have the option between peeking left or peeking right, you want to peek left. A great example of this is Endless Veil vale in that middle lane. You want to be peeking on the left because it's always going to be sniper versus sniper, so that's a good example there. So how do you best use this peeker's advantage uh, with this playstyle? So the best way to use it is actually to slide and snipe while you're sliding. So this does take a lot of practice, but if you can slide and snipe, it is very strong. I would say probably about 60% of my sniper kills are while I'm sliding. I rarely will stand somewhere and shoot someone. Basically if I'm going to peek a lane, I don't stand in the middle and wait for them. I'll slide and if they're not there I'll run back and, if, and then I'll wait and then I'll slide back. If they're not there I'll run back. Like I'll just keep sliding out because I want to have that peeker's advantage when I do. And this, like I said, this does take a lot of practice, but if you do this correctly there is actually no counter in the game. There, especially as the other sniper, there is nothing the other sniper can do if you slide and snipe them because they won't see you in time. You can actually slide and snipe them so fast that they can't react. So the only thing they can do if they're standing there is just hope that you miss. And you will miss, like it's actually hard to do. You'll miss a good amount, especially at first. But even if you do miss, it's hard for them to still hit you. Like they still have to hit a really good shot. So if you slide and snipe someone, there is nothing they can do because you see them first and it'll happen so fast that it's just, it's uncounterable in my opinion. Maybe some, God can react fast enough, but I rarely will get sniped if I don't miss. So yeah, definitely be practicing your slide snipes. I would say to begin this, I would use the sliding exotic on your character. So for the hunter, it would be the stompies, the warlock, the t-steps, and for titan, the dune marchers. I don't use those anymore. I used to, but when you're first starting out, it gives you a longer slide, so it's really easy to practice. And you'll miss a lot at first, but it, trust me, it's definitely worth getting it down. So the other aspect I want to talk about when it comes to this sort of play style is going to be close range sniping. I get told all the time that I use my sniper like a chaperone actually, so 
It's definitely possible to snipe at close range. I can do it pretty consistently, I'm sure. I'll be having some clips in the background. There's definitely some tricks I could give in a future video and make a, like I said, make a full in-depth guide, but today I mostly just want to talk about crosshair placement. So you can try to predict where your opponent's head is going to be, even in close range. You should always be doing this, but in close range, it'll really catch people off guard, especially if they know you're a sniper. When they have a shotgun and they know you're a sniper, they kind of play somewhat sloppy sometimes because they think oh it's a free kill it's just a sniper i have a shotgun so they'll just run in like run in a straight line or they'll even just slide a corner and if you know that they're going to slide you can aim a little lower and a little further out but basically you just need to be able to predict where they're going to be and it doesn't matter how close they are you can still hit the shot it's very easy honestly uh, a lot of times i get told like oh you know scoped me I, I don't know scope anyone really like i will rarely know scope you only want to be no scoping in my opinion is if you messed up your crosshair placement or like someone caught you off guard or you're just like really desperate like sometimes there'll be a bunch of people maybe you can no scope and melee someone that's another thing nothing wrong with like body shotting someone and then doing a melee but basically just you need to learn how to predict people's movement and what they're going to do especially in close range and if you can pre-aim it a lot of times if i'm low health or something i'll just crouch and aim at the corner where i think they're gonna slide to and i can just snipe them it could be like from three feet away it'll, it'll still happen so yeah just start to practice that like i said that one's a little trickier for me to just give some quick tips on that would probably need to be a full in-depth guide but i wasn't sure if too many people would be interested in something like this so if you'd like to see a full in-depth guide on aggressive sniping uh, feel free to drop a like and a comment to let me know if this gets good support then I can definitely do that but as always thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day